All right. Well, thank you for getting us to the 1,000 subscribers. Yay. We never thought the day would come, so you're really excited. So today, you know, I know a lot of people have questions as to how did we get to 1,000 subscribers. So we're going to take you around, checking out different Lincoln monuments and weird things, and give you a little few tips that we found helpful to get there. Make sure you stay to the end so you don't miss any of the tips that we give. Let's go. Welcome back Chronicles crew, you have Carl here. For those that aren't familiar with our channel, we are a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. So one of the tips that I have is, you should really check out other folks' channels and you know, check out what they do. So every time I watch a video, I try to see what they've done, how they transition, how they tell the story, in order to be able to improve ours. One thing is just make sure you don't try to mimic someone exactly. You don't want to be the next Casey Neistat. You want to have your own unique brand. You know we can't help but stopping anywhere that says world's largest. The world's largest covered wagon. Look at this. This one has their own Guinness Book of World Record right over here. This wagon is 40 feet long, 12 feet wide, and 25 feet tall. It's humongous. So the rail splitter was built by David Bentley in 2001 and it actually used to be in Davernon, Illinois on the Route 66 route. It is now here in Lincoln, Illinois. All right guys, we are now at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Museum. What we're here to see is a 30 foot Abraham Lincoln and Perry Como. It is a time warp. The guy standing next to Abe is not from the 19th century. He is, according to Johnson, the sculptor, the common man. And he would not admit to the fact that he used Perry Como to represent the common man. Johnson's way of showing that the Gettysburg ad address was still relevant in 1991. So one of the things that we did to grow this to a thousand subscribers is just enjoy the process. It is not a sprint but a marathon. So gotta make sure you enjoy content that you love. Enjoy putting the video out. Enjoy commenting back on your videos and also commenting on others. And enjoy meeting other folks. One of my favorite part of this journey is to be able to meet other creators. So to be able to collab with them, such as Maria and the Bowl, Chris Van Eerden, and Brad and Amy, this was one of my favorite part of this whole experience. This is our first subscriber that actually noticed us while we we're out in the streets. So we're gonna send him a free t-shirt. So thank you for being a subscriber. Yeah, yeah. All right, we are at the Illinois State Visitor Center. And I got a surprise for you. This might not be Abraham Lincoln, but I find it very interesting. So if you look behind me, you see that? So in 1994, John Kearney created this and if you can't believe it, it's actually made out of car bumpers. A white-tailed deer with car bumpers. Amazing. <laughs> so if you're new to YouTube, one of the best thing to do is be consistent. So we were on YouTube for about three years and had 32 subscribers. So what we did was we started posting every week and being consistent. And within a year and four months, we were able to reach the 1,000 subscribers. So it's very important that you post a regular schedule, whatever your schedule might be. Behind me is the Illinois State Museum, but I'm really here for one thing, an Abraham Lincoln totem pole. It was in 1880 that the Eskimos crafted this monumental totem pole. Lincoln's already tall, so why the heck does he need to be up that high? I think it makes him a little, look a little taller, especially with his nice little top hat. You should really not worry about the thousand subscribers, but actually create a thousand super fans. So these are fans that'll watch whatever content you have, get your merchandise, and just want to follow you as a person, individual. Speaking of super fans, our patrons receive a postcard from us each month. If you're interested, check out the description down below. We are here in Lincoln's tomb in Springfield Oak Ridge Cemetery. And in here, they actually give guided tours, but you'll also have to wear a mask and they do temperature checks. All right, you're good. All right, good. I was, I was afraid to be too excited. I'd be warmed up. 
I passed. One of the things that people love to do when they're here is rub Lincoln's nose. It's supposed to give good luck, but due to the situation, you're not allowed to rub the nose right now. Another thing that's really helped to get us to a thousand is being a continuous learner. YouTube's kind of a very big place. It's kind of intimidating. But what I would suggest is, I'm gonna put the, some of the links to the channels, is check out other channels that explain how to do YouTube. So my favorite's probably Think Media, Catherine Manning, and Nick Nimmin. They really give high level overview of what you should do. Not every strategy fits for each area. So what I usually like to do is take a little bit from each. Thank you for those who watch our videos. Thank you for our Patreons. And thank you for everybody who bought our cool merch. If you're interested in that, go to the description down below. Well, make sure to like and subscribe to the video down below. And hit that notification bell while you're at it so you know when a new video comes out. See you on the next journey. Bye! Bye.